Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you an interesting build currently in the works from Boxable. After a busy year trying to keep tabs on everything going on in offsite construction, it seems as though we've gone full circle because people have been asking me for updates on companies mentioned earlier in 2022. One of the most requested is a company that never fails to keep me on my toes, a crowd favorite by the name of Boxable. In case you missed it, Boxable has once again made headlines this week, but this time it had nothing to do with Elon Musk. They hauled a couple of casitas down to the law Vegas Speedway and race them, making me wonder what's a better motor for my casita, a Gallo 12 or a Gallo 14? I didn't know pizza places made motors. No, the Boxable Casita is not motorized, but the point they were proving is important and an ideal jumping off point for the full update on what they've been doing. On top of all that, it looks like we'll be seeing a two-story Boxable sooner rather than later. What I'm going to do is give you a quick roundup on everything going on over at Boxable lately, and as always, it's a lot. If you've never heard of Boxable, they're a Las Vegas based company shaking things up in offsite construction with a standardized product that they hope will allow them to get to their goal of building one home per minute. Right now, they're focusing on production of a single floor plan. It's a 375 square foot studio known as the Casita that has a kitchen, living space, bedroom space, and bathroom. Aside from the cost, the exciting part about the home is that it ships eight feet wide and folds out on site to 19 and a half by 19 and a half feet. That's the Spark Notes version of Boxable and what they're up to to get you started. If you want something more in depth, I've got a bunch more videos on the topic. I've been saying for a while now that the marketing team at Boxable are magicians at getting attention and it looks like they've done it again. I don't know of another company in the prefab home space that has been able to get themselves into the headlines as frequently as Boxable. I get that not every company wants to stack cars on top of their homes or jump dirt bikes over their homes, but it works for them. From what I can tell, the funnel they're running goes attention, interest, and finally reservations pretty smart. In their latest stunt, they welded tow hitches on the back of Tesla Model 3s, hooked on their specialty trailers loaded with a casita, and proceeded to drag race them at the Las Vegas Speedway before taking a rip down the Las Vegas Strip. At first glance, this looks like a company that just really likes motorsports having a bit of fun. And I do think that's partially true. One of the founders is actually building a car that will have over 1,000 horsepower. I don't consider myself a car nut, but I know enough to realize that's a lot of ponies. Here's the thing. Yes, this video was cool and will likely get them a lot of attention. I thought it was highly entertaining to see homes being raced, but I think the point they were trying to make is how much easier it will be to ship one of their homes compared to some of the other options available in the industry. Will your home be delivered to your property with a Tesla Model 3 that has overnight parts from Japan? Japan? No, it won't, but they made their point. The fact that a car can even move the home, let alone get it down the quarter mile in 20 seconds and navigate the strip is very impressive. I come from the world of wide loads and even though I live my life a quarter mile at a time, I can confirm that moving homes that size is very expensive. If you happen to be buying a home in the city that is built, that's best case scenario, but the further away you get from the factory, the more expensive it's going to be and at a certain point it just no longer makes sense. I'm not saying you have to be located in the city a home is built for it to make sense, not even close. I've shipped homes over 600 miles and it still made sense from an overall cost standpoint. Shipping a boxable will also cost more every mile you get away from the factory, but the point they're trying to make is it's gonna be less per mile because it's easier to ship. To really drive the point home at the end of the video, they tow one of the casitas with a golf cart, then proceed to hook it up to a human person who in a shocking feat of strength is able to get the home moving with nothing more than a lot of heart and some brute strength. Great news for anyone out there with strong caps who wants to save a bit on shipping, just bring some rope and a bit of pre-workout. Whenever I talk about Boxable, I typically get a bunch of comments about how people who order now won't get their home for X amount of years because of the infamous waitlist. If you're currently on the waitlist, I get the frustration. I don't even like waiting for toast, but some things are out of our control. The way I look at it is if the end goal is one home per minute, they're trying to do something that's never been done before, so it looks like we're gonna have to be patient. A couple days ago, they posted on Instagram that they had shipped 300 casitas and asked how many we thought they would build next year. To me, this looks like a chance to see if they've been refining their systems and processes to speed up production. On October 18th, 2021, they shipped Casita 1. On March 25th, 2022, they shipped Casita number 100, but not before jumping it with a dirt bike. Not including the initial startup phase, the first 100 casitas took about five months, which works out to 20 casitas per month. The next 200 casitas took about nine months, which works out to 22 per month, so they've increased output by about 10%. That seems pretty good. 
If they can do that again and open the second factory, I think we'll be looking at 50 to 60 per month or six to 700 for the year. You gotta keep in mind that's with the information that we know. There has been more than a few surprises with this company and I don't expect that to stop in 2023. I think when factory three gets announced, it's gonna be bigger than a lot of people are expecting and all of a sudden they're gonna be building thousands of homes per year and people are gonna be scrambling to get their money together because casitas are gonna be rolling out of the factory. Just think about this for a second. A little over a year ago, they shipped the first home out of factory one. Now they're celebrating shipping number 300. I don't know what everyone watching this got done in the last 14 months, but I know what I didn't do, and that's build 300 homes. Forget about the wait list for a couple seconds. That's a lot of homes, and that's not even all they're up to. There are a lot of people who are interested in the 375 square foot casita. However, there are a lot of people who aren't. 375 square feet simply isn't enough room for a lot of people and they're holding out till Boxwell starts building something bigger. I personally think it's gonna be a while before they start building the bigger units to sell, but it looks as though they've built one to show. A video on Instagram shows a two story from Boxwell being assembled in the parking lot of Factory One and even though the details haven't been released, I think it's gonna be the offset two story home that they've shown renderings of on the Boxwell social media accounts. The video was taken inside the second floor and it notes that one space is the bathroom and I'm guessing the other is access to the main floor. It's hard to tell if it's one 20 by 20 box on top of two or the offset model shown. The only reason I'm leaning toward the offset is because they're also building the different exterior facades that have been shown quite often in the renderings as well. So it would make sense to me that they're building the renderings they've been showing and I haven't seen a rendering showing one unit on top of two. I guess only time will tell. Either way, what we're looking at is early in 2023, we're gonna see the casitas finish with the modern cabin, castle, and peaked roof themes and either a two or three unit two story. The final thing that seems to have slipped under my radar is a development that they're working on in Arizona. I saw a while back there had been some sort of deal happening between Boxwell and a company called Pronghorn Group for a master plan community designed specifically for Boxwell casitas. They've already broken ground on the project and with a little bit of lurking on the gram I was able to find out that it's a total of 176 units and I think it might be these renderings that were posted back in July. I get comments on almost every video I post that there isn't anywhere to put homes like this so it's nice to see a full casita development under construction likely the first of many. Boxable finished out the year with a banger of a video showcasing that their homes are easier to ship than a lot of other manufacturers in the industry by racing them behind Teslas. They certainly aren't afraid to go over the top to get attention on their company because they know a certain number of those eyeballs will eventually make their way onto their wait list. They've got a new two-story home being built at the factory. It looks as though at least four of their exteriors are being built and they've broken ground on a 176 unit community in Arizona. Talk about finishing off the year with a bang. Boxable's just getting started, so I will definitely keep following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.